with an impressive 200 megapixel camera and with the release date being just less than a week away this is the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra and we have it right here with us in the flesh and you heard correct it's a 200 megapixel camera now that alone is enough to give any professional camera a run for its money now before we get to unboxing it let's just have a look around the box it is quite a slim box and that's been the norm for a couple of generations obviously there's no charging plug in here a bit annoying but they don't really cost that much so it's not a big problem at the back here there's not much information i remember in the older generations you'll have on here quite a bit of information regarding the product but it's not there anymore now at the bottom here all you have is the model number the memory size the ram size the color and it also says made in korea now on the right of this you have the imei number which i've covered for obvious reasons not much more to talk about so let's unbox this Now with every phone come accessories, so let's see what we get in here. You get the quick start guide and you get the warranty card. Also, you get a charging cable. This is a USB-C to a USB-C and you get this, a SIM card tray ejector. And that is it. Phones these days have really slimmed down. Now back to the phone and wow, it really is a work of beauty. Looks the same as the S22 Ultra, but if something looks good, you don't need to change it. On the side here you have the power button and the volume controls. On the other side there's nothing. Up at top here you have a mic and down below you have the SIM card tray, you have two mics, you have a charging port, you have a speaker and of course you have the S Pen. Now back here this is where all the hype is. So you have a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera you have the mighty 200 megapixel wide angle camera. You have a 10 megapixel 3x optical zoom. And you have 10 megapixel 10x optical zoom. You have the flash here. And you have a sensor here which manages light. Now let's have a look at some technical stuff whilst the phone is being set up. Now this is due to launch on February 17, 2023. The dimensions are 163 by 78 by 8.9 millimeters. It weighs 234 grams. Now the build on this the glass foot is the Gorilla Glass Victus 2 and the back is also a Gorilla Glass Victus 2 and it has an aluminium frame. Now the display is a dynamic AMOLED 2X which runs at 120 hz It can also play HDR10 Plus and at its peak it's 1750 nits. The screen size is 6.8 inches and the screen to body ratio is an amazing 89.9%. The resolution is a 1440 x 3088 which gives a 500 ppi density the platform is an android 30 the chipset is a qualcomm sm8550 ac snapdragon 8 generation 2. now this chipset is going to be seen in any region of the world this is the first time samsung's actually done this as well cpu is an octa core and the gpu is a reno 740. now this doesn't have a memory card slot and this particular phone is a one terabyte 12 gigabyte ram now the main cameras on the back can record videos at 8K at 24 or 30 frames per second, 4K at 30 or 60 frames per second, 1080p at 30, 60, 240 or even 960 frames per second. As mentioned before, it can record in HDR10+. The selfie camera is an amazing 12 megapixel. It can record in 4K at 30 or 60 frames per second and 1080p at 30 frames per second. Now other features that this phone has as standard, it has built-in Wi-Fi, it has Bluetooth 5.3, it has built-in GPS, it has a fingerprint sensor which is on the screen and it has an impressive 5000mAh battery. Make sure you put a case on this phone and if you want to know where I got this case from, just leave a comment in the comment section and I will reply. Now that the phone is set up, one of the things that is very noticeable is how clear the screen is. Definitely one of the most clearest screens I've seen on a phone ever. Now that clear screen combined with the 120Hz refresh rate and the rumoured ray tracing in games will make playing games on this absolutely amazing. Scrolling through this phone, there are absolutely no lagging issues. I know this is a new phone so at the start all phones start off slightly fast but this is a powerful phone. It has 12GB of RAM and what that is going to allow you to do is do multiple processes at the same time 
Now let's have a quick look at this pen here. This pen looks very nice. It feels very nice in the hand as well. And I remember from all the phones, when you had the pen in your hand, it didn't really feel too good, but this has like a bit of a rubber texture to it. And it feels nice, it really is a wonder to have in your hand. Now when you hold this pen near to the screen, as you can see, there's a little cursor that comes up. I'm not touching the screen, but it's still picking up the fact that the pen is quite close to the screen and it's able to project this cursor onto the screen, which looks very good. And if you use this pen to browse around the phone, going up and down, swiping up and down, it's quite nice. You could probably get used to this. And just search it through Google, going up and down. No issues there, looking through, no problem. Now the main hype around this phone is the 200 megapixel camera and especially at night it's supposed to be very good at zooming in. So let's go test this. So I'm recording from my own camera onto the S23 Ultra. As you guys can see on the camera, there's only this area here where there's a lamppost, all the rest is pitch black. Now watch what happens when I zoom in. As I zoom in, it just lights up. That is absolutely amazing. I don't know how the phone does that, but that is some crazy technology. And the zoom on this one, I zoom in. I try to zoom in onto this red light here. It's got so much zoom. It's just going in and in, and I think it's up to 100x. Yep, 100x, and that is amazing. And this is a night shot. Imagine if I did that during the day. Just this cannot be served until we test it during the day. Now that figure right there, that's Castle Hill. And I'm gonna zoom in. Let's see what we can see over there. So if you continue zooming, continue zooming. That is at full 100x. That is absolutely amazing. You can see the outline of the castle. And even if you go to the side here, you can see the trees. You can tell there are trees and there's buildings there as well. That is absolutely amazing. Now what would be good if you can see somebody walking around. There's no one there. There's more trees down here. That is absolutely amazing. Now there's so many features that this phone has and the list can go on for ages but for today I just want to show you guys the unboxing and I want to show you the main thing about this which was the camera. Now in the future I'll do other videos where I'm showing you different different features about this phone. That's it for now guys. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so you're notified of any future video uploads. I will see you in my next video.